these have feelings? No. But you may get that customer in your shop where they may state that they feel something has changed with their EV. They can feel that the range is reduced or they're taking longer to charge the vehicle. They could be on to something or changes in range and charging could be caused by external forces like the weather. This is where customer communication becomes an art. Using the words feel and it seems in their description of a problem could be vague and highly subjective. These complaints always require more context from the customer and even the vehicle. Ask them when the fault occurred and what were the conditions. Changes in ambient temperature can have just as much impact on range and charging times as an unbalanced battery. With the information from the customer, you can replicate the condition to confirm the complaint. The goal is to capture the complaint and not solve the issue at the front counter when you're talking to them. The most important thing to remember is that the battery management system can spot a problem with a battery long before the customer feels something or that they have a problem. EVs and hybrid battery packs can have more than 250 individual batteries. The batteries are arranged in 10 or more groups with sensors that measure the internal resistance, temperature, and overall output. So if a customer notices that they have 120 miles of range when they once had 135 miles, it could be for various reasons. Any battery degradation is detected by the management system and will result in reductions in range and increase the charging time due to the battery's change in internal resistance. The other item to look at, it's the weather. Many EV drivers may notice a reduction in range and increased charging times when the seasons change. This is 100% normal as stated before. The thermal management system will consume power of the battery to keep it at the optimal temperature. So energy is used to power the coolant pumps and HVAC system instead of the battery powered in the drive motor. Even if you perform a visual inspection and do not find any damage on the vehicle or the battery pack, you might need to do an electronic investigation. Changes in range and state of charge are often due to updated software being updated over the air. In most cases, you can ensure that the vehicle is running the latest software using a scan tool or the interface on the vehicle. Most EV manufacturers will issue a TSD listing the update and what it affects and how to deal with customer complaints and questions. If you have a scan tool that can communicate with the battery pack, you might have the option to calibrate or reset the battery pack. This special test or procedure that can be found in the scan tool will measure the state of health of the batteries and reset the charging and discharge adaptation for the battery pack. One question you need to ask the customer with the case of the fields is how do you charge the vehicle? Many problems with charging and range can often be traced back to the charger or even the charging port on the vehicle. This can frequently lead you to a solution that does not include the vehicle. It is also the reason to install a Class 2 charger at your shop just for diagnostics. I'm Andrew Markell coming to you from the Bempac EV Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.